dear friends. Good day to you. I wish you a good day. And it's always good to start with reading the Word of God. And in our journey through the Psalms, we've come to Psalm 93. It's very short, just a couple of verses. You read for yourself, read it out loud. And um, it really talks about the majesty of God. I love the opening verse in my New Living Translation. It says, the Lord is King. You can stop right there. The Lord is King. That's a proclamation. That's truth. And it's unchanging. We live in a world where a lot of people are changing positions, leaderships in countries, in government, in politics, in big uh, companies. Uh, sometimes it, it somebody else uh, steps up because there was a voting, there were elections. Sometimes people are picked or chosen or just placed there. Whatever the case, there's a lot of uh, shifting. There's a lot of almost like a like it's a we're in this chess game. People are changing positions. But what is the, um, how do I say, the encouraging thought for today? That the Lord is king. He's robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. And you know what? That's such a uh, comfort to me to know that, that whatever may change in the world, God is still king. And he will not change position. And uh, he's, a, he's the foundation of everything we believe in. He's the foundation of our faith. And I love to say it. The Lord is king. Hallelujah. And I want to leave you with that thought today. That um, everything may change. Everything may tremble. Everything may shift. Uh, I don't know what the situation in your country is. But this was written thousands of years ago. And it's still true today. The Lord is king. And he is robed in majesty. And I, de I, I think he deserves the praise and he deserves the honor. Let's say it today and let's proclaim it today. The Lord is king. So have a good day and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.